Hey guys, this is Jim with Styrene Monkey. I uh, haven't done a video in quite some time, so I wanted to give a current update about what's been going on here at the bench. Uh, also, I want to start off, number one, uh, I want to start off by thanking all my new subscribers that I have gotten in the re recent couple of months. Uh, I noticed some do build models and make videos, and some don't do videos about models, but that's, that's okay. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all you of you that have subscribed to my channel and I appreciate it very much and uh, just want to let everybody know what's been going on here at the workbench is that uh, I had eye surgery if, uh, well it's been going on to almost two months now and uh, it's kind of you know reflected the way I built building models the detail and all because my eye is healing and it's getting better with each and every week and uh, pretty soon I'll be getting rid of these glasses and uh, getting something where I could see a whole lot better. They will not prescribe any glasses to me until the healing is complete. But I've uh, been trying to do some stuff on and off. I've uh, been watching a lot of videos. Uh, it's great to watch everybody's videos Why I'm not building myself. I do comment on some and some I do not comment. But uh, keep producing the videos. Keep them coming. I enjoy watching everybody's videos. And I just wanted to show you what's been going on the bench here for the last, uh, going on a few months here at the, at the workbench. So let me turn the camera around and uh, let me let you in on what's been going on. Okay, here's one of the things I've been working on. I know you've all uh, seen this before, the uh, Hudson I built for a show, which uh, got messed up that I couldn't take it to the show. I uh, got some super glue on my finger and it got onto the car here i tried to get it off but took it off from the the clear off and all the way down to the primer so uh i tried to get a body from mobius they get they sold me a body for three four bucks plus shipping and um when i got it then i realized i didn't have the other things i have super glued on it like the bumper and uh and whatnot so i went ahead and bought another kit anyway so I could have those things and uh, here's the other body to replace this body now I've been working on this on and off uh, just finished doing the engine bay as of this afternoon taping it all off this is a, a major pain but uh, it looks really good uh, came out better than I thought and I just got to transfer this body here this body here to the chassis and I have to take some wires and stuff off of there and uh, we will move forward with getting that complete and uh, bare metal foiling this. I haven't decided if I want to go back to bare metal foil or just go ahead and uh, tape it off and paint it. The only thing is the problem is this uh, little Hornet rocket ship here. I don't know how I'm going to get that would get it taped off, but when you use the bare metal foil over it, it hugs over it pretty good. And uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of foil going on on this, but. Uh, that is one of the items I've been working on uh, lately. Uh, this I've been working on on and off for the last two weeks. Uh, let me back this up a little bit here. Yes, this is an airplane. I have, uh, that's what I first started working on when I uh, started model building was uh, airplanes. This is the, uh, the F4U-1 Corsair, um, which is by, uh, but the is Minicraft or yeah oh I'm sorry it was from Academy um, made this cool little stand out of a couple of blocks of uh, of uh, oak and I put some tongue oil on it and I found a piece of wire and drilled a hole in it to, and that's all I I just kind of piddled around with it for a couple of weeks um, sorry about that to see how it would uh, look and all but did some weathering on it and whatnot I did uh, as you see underneath. And I used some of the uh, Tamiya panel line um, paint, I guess you call it, or just panel line uh, stuff. And uh, kind of been working on that a little bit. That's kind of like a little two-weekend project, trying to get back into the groove of things. Um, but that's what I've been working on for the past two weeks. And it's been fun going. You get kind of the, tired of the monotony of cars. So I thought I'd give an airplane a try. That, that was a, a one 70 second scale by the way now this i've had i got two kits now i'm thinking about going to this uh i want to build this a lot of people have been watching videos building this and uh i 
think this is going to be my next project on the bench. Uh, the Ravel Bronco. It's a pretty cool little kit. And I bought two of these kits over at Hobby Lobby uh, with the 40% off coupon. And, you know, I saw Tom Rambler69 build one of these. Uh, he did two of them, I think. Excellent job, by the way, Tom. Uh, really impressed about how it came out. He took it to the show. Uh, great job. And he told me, if you've not watched the video, about Fireball Models. Um, they make some... Uh, excellent kits here for the bronco this is the uh the lift kit with a spare tire and all i bought that as well to go with this and uh i purchased this about oh about two three months ago and then i bought the kit later on but uh then uh i saw some other stuff on their website the uh this is the winch set now there's two of these winches in a kit um they're a 9600 pound winch kit um, by Fire, Fireball Model Works, and uh, it comes with everything inside the kit. A great, great little detail on that. Now, they also have just come out recently with these uh, grills. Uh, they're two different versions of the grill. I think the difference in the version is the uh, the brake lights or the parking lights here on the grill. Excellent resin piece. I think this was about 6 or $7 for this piece here. I'm going to replace it with the kit. The one comes in the kit gives a little bit more detail and all, and uh, also purchase the, uh, the the off road lights. Um, these are great, also a great little kit. They come with there's quite a few in there. There's small and large ones. I'd say there was close to maybe ten or twelve little lights in this packet. Uh, I think this was also like eight or nine dollars for this pack here. Um, gives you all the directions on how it's supposed to be painted and whatnot. There is the decals. Uh, the KC logo for the uh, lights, and of course the old-fashioned smiley face. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, and last but not least, this is the bumper for the winch. They do make a bumper for the winch kit, so you you could attach it to because uh, it will not attach to the uh, the kit bumper. So that is what has been going on in the bench lately. Um, hope everybody is having a great week. And I will be doing a uh, video soon on the Bronco and the uh, Fireball Model Works setup. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.